All right. Hey, guys, we're back again. Yeah. All right. Anyway, <laughs> what we're going to do right now is something called the Muscow chart. Whenever uh, Gio and I make a game, we do this. He's going to explain what it is and uh, and how it helps. Gio, take it away. All right. So basically, the Muscow chart is a... Um, uh, it's Look a, at those it's, notes. It's, <laughs> um, Muscat chart basically help prevent uh, feature creep. Um, uh, feature creep, for example, um, Dad and I were working on a different game, and we had a certain time limit to it. And I wanted to add a cool cannon to it, but we didn't have the time, and it was just too much effort and everything. So basically that's feature creep, not the creep in that big feature that you don't have time for and doesn't really have any use in the game. So, okay, so let's rewind. What does Muscow stand for? Muscow stands for must do should do, could do, and want to do. Okay. So what are all these stickers? Are these all the features? These are all the features that we must, should, could, or want. All right. So let's start going through them. Let's take the first one. What do you have there? Must. Something that we must have. All right. Is... So let's grab one of the grab one of the post-its and see where it goes. First all one right. you have there is... Let's do difficulty levels. Okay. Difficulty levels we could do. Right. That's a good idea. Put it in could because we'd have to get everything else in. So exactly. we're off to a good start. What's the next thing? Uh, 3D models for characters. That's a must do. We want to go with we want to go with 3D all the way. So that's a must. So let's take 3D world environment and put that in must also. All right. Okay. Now what's the one that was next to that? Load save game. That's yeah. something we really should do, yeah. but I don't know if we're going to be able to get that in. So let's yeah. put that in should. The intro video, I want to do it. I don't know. Should we do a should or a could for that? I think we should do a want because the intro video can be and like it doesn't have to be in the game. Okay, we can but. do a screenshot of very good. Yeah. Very good. All right. Let's do a splash. Let's get something else. Uh, background music. We, background music, we really should do it. We don't yeah. want it quiet. Yeah. Hold on. Not centered enough. Not perfect. Okay, what else? Um... 3D animated characters. Yes, we definitely want, we must yeah. have them animated, otherwise they're really boring. Yeah, otherwise everything's just kind of sliding around the map. Yes, back. exactly. All right, uh, 3D world that looks like Florida, we... We want. just do could, because could? really if, if, the, if the the goal is the gameplay, it's not necessarily, I mean, that's my personal thing that it looks like Florida, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah. Okay, next one. Uh, side quests and challenge, we should do. Because I don't know. Let's get that in could. The reason I say that is because there's a lot to the main plot and stuff like that. We want to focus on good that. Good point. Good point. Um, atmospheric sound. Um, I think that should also be in should because you should get a good vibe as to um, uh, what's right. going on around you. All righty. Um, Level-based skills. That's a must yeah. because it's part of what makes it more that part of the progression system. Speaking of which, do we have progression a sticker for progression system there? Do. Okay, yeah, get that over and must. I keep thinking saying progressive. <laughs> progressive. A uh, Geico right. system? <laughs> a combat system? Yes. In a survival game, there's always combat. All right, so yeah, for the conflict. Unless it's a really boring survival. Right. I see you got day or night there. Let's put day or night in could. Yeah. If we get to it, we can do that, but that's not a mandatory yeah. thing. Friendly interactions uh, is a want to do. It's not necessarily... It's not really necessary okay. in the game. It's just something we can add. Okay, that four or more enemies. Let's get uh, get that over into. Uh, what's that you got there? Must. Four or more foods. Yes, get get get, get that into. Because um, fish and water and other ambience critters. Which That's a could that? do thing. What's this one again? You know, like where there's fish in the water. It's not really any fish you could interact in. Just like an ambiance type ah, thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, your sound control options. Let's get that over into I should do. Um, all right. Put that over here. Okay, four or more enemies. That's something that should do. Well, we would say, you know what? If, if combat is a must, then it ha yeah. that should be a must. You should always have at least four or more enemies. Yeah. enemies if you're doing combat. Main menu, we should do. Yeah. It's always nice to have a menu. And Steam achievements, we want to do, right? Uh, if we could, no, the goal is to put it on Steam, so we really should have Steam achievements right. in there, because that's a, a selling point to the whole Steam thing, right. okay? Um, so now we've got it all laid out? Yep. Okay, so now we've got it all broken down, what we must do, should do, could do, and want to do. 
so the next thing that we're going to have to do after this is, well, you know what? We'll just leave that for the next video. For now, exactly. this was what kind of a chart? A Moscow chart. Okay, excellent. And it's what we must do, should do, could do, and want, and want to, to do. do. All right, thanks a lot. Say bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs>